Look what just arrived off the UPS truck. The Cricut Bright 360 it is an ultimate LED floor lamp. I am really excited to have this. And I wanted to show you all the box because how big it was. I couldn't believe it. I had to have my son carry it in for me. <laughs> but this is everything that's on the box. Now let's look inside. Ooh, this is the base. It's super heavy. Oh my goodness. Super heavy. <laughs> so that's all your pieces parts. We have the have the light part at the top. Here's the base. We have the pull because it's a floor model. Here is your plug. And then of course your Cricut material. The first step is to add the stem to the base of the floor lamp and you push it in over the post until you hear it click. For step two, you want to add the head or the top part of the lamp onto the stem. Um, but quite frankly, I was having a hard time putting the two connectors together. So I stopped filming and got my son to help me. The next step to do is actually put it in place where you want it and then uh, take the end of the power cord and plug that into the power input here at the bottom of the uh, stem and then to just plug it into the wall. So here is the lamp next to my desk. It's up to 56 inches long. And as you can see, it lets out a lot of light and that covers about four square feet which made a big difference in my setup. So it provided more light to more area for me when crafting. So the light has a long pole here that can easily adjust the lamp setting, which is really nice. And it can turn and swivel, as it mentioned, 360 degrees, which is really quite cool. <laughs> And you may think it's a little wobbly, but it's really not. It's really quite sturdy. Again, look at this, just easily touching it with a finger, you can do this. I'm holding the paper behind the light switches here just so that I could show you them a little bit better. So you two have two light switches. The one on the bottom turns it on and off. But if you'll notice when you start to turn it on, it does give you varying um, brightness. So you can actually use this as a um, brightness gauge as well as the top lever here. So we have um, very bright to warm. So this is your uh, cools and warms temperatures. So all the way down, you get a very uh, warm temperature and I'll show you more of that in a moment. And then as you go up, it gets brighter and lighter. I've been using it in the middle for right now, and it seems to be a good temperature. And then sometimes when I take photos, as you move this up, it gets to be a cooler brightness, and I use that setting. I also wanted to mention that the lamp head does swivel, so it goes side to side, which is really nice too. Just one more feature that allows you to um, put it to the exact lighting that you need. So I wanted to try and be able to share with you the actual lighting uh, feature itself uh, so that you can see the nice brightness of it. It might be hard to capture, but I'm gonna give it a try. Right now, I don't have any lights on. All you see is really just indirect light from my windows. So I'm going to um, I'm going to set the top temperature lever at the very bottom, and then of course the light is off. So I'm going to turn it on. You're going to see a little flickering on the screen. If uh, this will affect you in some way, please look away for a moment. I'm going to turn it on now. Okay. So the light is on, and uh, 
I just, it's just right past the on spot. And I wanted you to be able to see uh, what it looks like with it not even being fully on uh, because it does give you a nice little glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and start turning it all the way on. So this is just the bottom lever. So I hope you were able to see some of the differences there. And now I'm going to move the top lever um, from the warmest temperature. I'm gonna move it up to the midpoint and I'll stop there. But you should be able to see some differences along the way. Right there is just one. Here, here is midpoint. And then I'm gonna move on up to the top. And that's the top. So I hope um, that helps uh, so that you could see some of the lighting differences. I mean, I've been keeping it on the medium and sometimes I move the bottom lever down as well. It does um, make a difference. So I would just suggest if you get one of these lights to um, play around with the two levers uh, and temperatures and everything uh, to get it to uh, settings that you like. I find I use it a lot at the midpoint on the top and with it fully on at the bottom. I wanted to bring the lamp head down closer to the desk so that you could see how bright it gets uh, when it's closer to your material. Uh, so here I have my camera above the lamp and then normally when you're seeing it, I have the lamp head over my camera. So that's how bright uh, the lamp actually projects. So another thing that I wanted to share with you is uh, shadowing of the light. Now, right now I have the lamp head over my camera. And so there is a little shadowing with my hand, as you can see, but that's kind of typical with any type of lighting. Um, when I'm showing you product, I notice that there's, you know, there's less shadowing the closer you hold an item to the camera, of course. And then the closer you get to the table, you'll see more shadowing. But, you know, unless you have <laughs> studio lights, um, multiple lights around you, you're going to get shadowing and they get quite warm as well. This one uh, does not get warm, which is really nice. I used an Ott light previously and it got quite warm. So um, I like the fact that this doesn't get warm while you're using it. So there's just two more things uh, for you to note. In closing, I wanted to mention that this is an energy efficient LED light and it lasts for over 40,000 hours. Can you imagine that much craft time? <laughs> the brightness is up to 3000 lux and I know we all don't know too much about the luxes. However, it does give you uh, the natural daylight lighting and that is something that us as crafters would really enjoy because we are able to better match up um, our products with more true light. And the cord is 71 inches long, which is really great. I really appreciated having that long cord, especially for my setup. So that's a wonderful feature. So I would definitely recommend it if you are able to purchase this. It is quite pricey. I was lucky to get it on HSN for a really good price. And then I actually had a really, really good coupon. So I um, got it for under 200. Um, I think it was like 189, something like that. And I couldn't pass that up. So um, look for HSN gives coupons all the time, $25 coupons if you just um, sign up for their mailing. So that's it, everyone. Thanks a lot for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.